Let's say you're working in your dev org, trying to get all your changes deployed to the test environment. You're retrieving everything you did from dev so you can push it to GitHub. Everything seems to be going smoothly until you get to the email templates. Suddenly, retrieving them doesn't work. Try as you might, you can't get your email templates to appear in VS Code. You're getting stressed, your palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti. You can't solve the case of the missing email templates. We have a mystery on our hands. Hello there, my fellow developing developers. It's William from SmoothStack again, and this time I'm here to talk to you about retrieving email templates from Salesforce into VS Code. Why is it that you can't retrieve email templates from Salesforce the normal way? By going into the VS Code org browser and hitting the retrieve button? The world may never know, but I'm here to help you solve the mystery of how to work around this. Getting your email templates into VS Code has three main steps. Find the email templates to retrieve, format the information, and retrieve the email templates using package.xml. Let's find the email templates to retrieve. We're going to go into our org, go into the developer console, and make a SQL query for the email templates. The two email template folders I want are um, welcome templates and my public folder. So I'm going to do select folder.developer name and developer name from email template where folder.name equals welcome templates or folder.name equals my public folder. This filters for the email templates in the folders we want and gives us the developer side system names for the email templates that we're going to need later. The next step is to format the template information so that your package.xml can use it. Basically, the end result is that your folder names need to look like this. The easiest way to do this for a large number of email templates is with Excel formulas. Annoyingly, Salesforce does not have a native way to copy SQL results into Excel. So we're going to need to get into the weeds, so to speak. What you're going to want to do is right-click on one of those SQL cells and hit inspect. This should bring up a list of elements that make up the page you're on. Then control F to search for grid view, the grid view div, and then you right click, hover over copy, and hit copy element. And then you're going to open an Excel spreadsheet and paste it in. This should give you a copy of your SQL results as Excel entries. Now, some troubleshooting for this part. Make sure that the SQL results you copy from are the only tab open on your dev console. If you have multiple tabs open on your dev console, that could result in you pulling the wrong SQL results for some reason. Also, if copying grid view just gives you a bunch of HTML when you paste to Excel, try doing that same step I just showed you on the SQL grid div instead. Before we go on, here's a quick knowledge check. Which of the following fields do you need to query for when finding email templates that you want to retrieve? You can select more than one answer. A, developer name. B, created date. C, folder developer name. Or D, name. Pause the video for a minute to think. If you chose A and C, you're right. Created date just isn't needed, so B is out and package.xml can't use the regular UI side name, so D is out. We need to form a file path that our package.xml can use, so we need the developer name and the folder developer name. 
Now that you have your data in Excel, the next step is pretty simple. You're going to want to turn each row here into a line of XML markup that looks like this. So what you're going to want to do is concatenate each folder name and template name with a members element and put a slash between them using a formula like this. Then from there, you're also going to want to retrieve the metadata for the folders themselves. So just put the same thing that you put for the templates, but with the folder developer names only. And then you're going to want Salesforce to know what type of metadata you're retrieving. So you put this line. Here. And then you save. Now to paste your lines into the package.xml. If you don't have a package.xml already, you can create one by first creating a folder called manifest, like so, and then under it, create a file called package.xml. And to start this off, into your package.xml, paste these lines which should also be available in the description of this video. And then between the types elements, paste your newly created members. And then you right click on the package.xml, hit retrieve, and that's it. Metadata for the email templates along with their folders should appear under the email folder here. And now that they're in your local repository, you can just retrieve them like you would anything else with just right click, retrieve. So Salesforce works in mysterious ways, but hopefully I just made it that much less mysterious. To retrieve email templates for the first time, you find the email templates with SoQL, format their folder and file names into something package.xml can use, and retrieve them using package.xml. We hope this video helped with retrieving email templates. If you have any questions or comments, you can sound off in the comments under this video. If you know someone that's struggling with retrieving email templates in Salesforce, then send this video to them. Until next time, my fellow developing developers.